Right, welcome to vlog number two. Uh, people said they wanted to see more of my magic books, so we're at Quadrant. It's not Quadrant, actually, there, because there'd have to be four of them to be a Quadrant. Um, yeah, one of them, squares. Um, so this is where I start, because the first one, I'd read them all. Like, this is where we start getting into a little thing of kind of stuff that I've had for ages and haven't read. But let's be honest, we all do it. And there's no, no reflection on the book, by the way. Um, but start off, we've got Strong Magic. Now, I have read that a couple of times. It's, it's brilliant. It's a classic for a reason. Now, what I will say about Strong Magic is that I think too many people live by it. I, I, don't, I don't think, you know, it's easy when you read a book to just believe everything in it and go, yep, that we've got to live by those rules. Now, this works for Darwin Ortiz. Some of it, and I and think it's the same with the stuff that I teach, you question it. You question, is it going to work for you? Because I think there was something I read in it about you never, ever insult the, the person, uh, the spectator in the trick. Now, to me, there are ways of insulting the spectator. And I, might, I read this a long time ago, so I might have misremembered. So do let me know. Now, I was a street performer, and I used to get someone out of the audience and take the piss out of them, but in a way that was respectful. And, and when, when you've got someone on stage or with you in a performance, you can feel that there's a permission there. And there's a kind of little wink with it. It's like they're in on the joke and they're enjoying it. So I think there are a lot, lots of rules to be broken. So, and you read on the forums a lot where people have read this. Now, oh, Darwin Ortiz says this in Strong Magic. It's all to be questioned. Think critically. But, that's, um, but it, it's just a great book. I love it. Um, now then, Darren Brown, Absolute Magic is... Uh, is just stunning and pure effect and still in different places on the, the shelf i haven't sorted them out yet but pure effect and absolute magic um you see they're going for about 100 quid or more i said i'm i really won't sell that because i do keep going back to it and reading it because darren has not only is it brilliant tricks very advanced but also uh really really lovely style of writing there's no dry writing in there so they're a real pleasure to read uh, as is guy hollingworth drawing room deceptions uh, which, if you're a card magician, you're going to know a lot about that. Um, the still the tournament stored card, the Reformation, is something I, I still have yet to learn. But there's there's loads of workable stuff in there. People think it's all inaccessible if they haven't read it. It really isn't. Uh, John Kerry's stuff I got relatively recently. I know it's really good working stuff, but haven't got into reading it yet. Uh, Woody Arrogan, book in English. Again, I, I love this stuff. There's a lot of long routines in this, and I'm not really a routine person. I'm a bit more of a kind of um, learn a load of moves and wing it person, but I'm trying to be more more of a routine person. So so just getting out now, I'm thinking, because I love Woody's stuff. It's just it's just brilliant. Um, obviously, a student of Juan Tamariz. Um, Card Devilry, J.K. Hartman, haven't read yet. Uh, Paper Engine. Really, Aaron Fisher, I really recommend getting hold of this. It's got some really, really usable stuff and really commercial stuff. Aaron's stuff is all pretty commercial. He, he's got a good eye for it. But we get on to what I think is up there with one of my favourite uh, books. This is John Carney's Carnicopia. I remember reading this cover to cover, a little bit like I did with the Card College books. And there's so much stuff in there, along with his book Secrets, which is again on a different part of the shelf, but it's here somewhere. I really think if you're into all-round magic, card coins, everything, um, you can't go wrong with a lot of John Carney stuff. Now, this is an interesting one. I bought the Dave Campbell Legacy. Uh, it's put out by International Magic a long, long time ago. And, and really remember getting a lot out of it. I haven't read that in a long time, so... So I'm going to go back to that because Dave Campbell, you know, again, an eye for good commercial stuff, pure effect. Um, Harry Lorraine classic collection. You're going to hate me, but I haven't really read loads of it. I don't know why. I suppose there's only enough time in the day. Um, and the last one on this shelf is Magic Christian's Top Change. It's almost as if I put it there on purpose and I really haven't. Um, but I did a review on this. Please go and watch my review if you've missed it. But it's a great book if you like the Top Change. And since reading it, my top change has got better, a lot better. And I think it's because I kind of broke it down and the book made me spend some serious time on it. Uh, so there we go. There's a little um, summary of those books. Please ask me any questions. Uh, go and have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. I'm going to say that on every video I, um, I make because I'm spending my life on it. So cardmagiccourse.com. And have a good one. Cheers.